Alright, so in this lesson we're going to take, uh, take a look at uh, the sum of line segments. So I have two line segments here. I've got the line segment AB and the line segment CD. We are going to use a compass to copy these two line segments onto the same line and, and therefore getting the sum of both of these lines. Remember that sum means to add. So I basically want a line segment that goes from A from A to B and then it starts from B and goes from C to D. Okay. That's kind of the idea of what we're looking for. We want it all on one straight line. So actually what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to plot a point down. I'm going to call that A prime and I'm going to draw a line. Now I'm going to make that line long enough to where it looks like it's going to accommodate or take on both A, B, and C, D. So if I were to take just kind of a look at A, B, and then about right here, C, D. This line is definitely long enough. We'll show you what to do with the excess here in a second. So obviously I've labeled this A prime for a reason because I'm going to start with the point A and I'm going to take the center of my compass and place it on A and I'm going to get my circle uh, out to B here. Okay, I'm going to take the closest one there is. Looks like this one right here is going to do it. And without taking my pencil out of that point, I'm going to move kind of slow, nice so I don't make a lot of scribble marks. Move the center of this compass down to A and make my mark. So right now I have a circle that was started from A to B. That same circle is put from A prime and I'm going to make this point B prime. E prime. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing with CD, but instead of moving CD down to A prime, I want to move CD down to B prime. So again, take that center of that compass and place it on C. Find that circle that's going to work. It's like this one right here, my second dot. I'm going to keep my pencil in there. And instead of moving this from, a th from C to A prime, I'm going to move it down to B. So we're adding this extra length right here. Okay, so what we have here, this point we can call this D prime. That also makes it this one is C prime. Because what I've done basically is just put C on top of B. Okay, and that's what we get. A, B, and C, D. And together, we get the full line segment of their sum put together. Okay. Now then you're probably wondering what the rest of this line's for. I don't need it. Let's erase it. Get rid of it. Make it look nice. Okay. And here I have the sum of the two lines. Now there's some notation that goes along with this. Uh, because we're talking about sums, we're talking about adding two line segments and we took the line segment AB and CD. We added those together to get the line segment, this full one, A prime, D prime. And that is how we add two line segments together. Alright, so one more example of constructing line segments whose lengths is equal to the sum of the lengths of the given segments. In other words, the sum of two segments. Just one more example here. Uh, this is the worksheet that does need to be completed. I'm going to show you guys how to do number five, and then hopefully you guys can do six, seven, eight after that if you're not quite following here. Again, I have uh, two segments here in number five. I have the segment FA, and then the other segment is RT. And I want to copy those down, then both of these down onto F prime a straight line. Again, the first part of copying two segments together and making a sum out of them is to start with a straight line. So I'm going to go to F prime here and just make a straight line and make it long, let's make it long enough. Okay, so we have a straight line here. We're going to use that to put FA on there and then RT. Let's start with FA. Take the center of your compass, put on F, find the right circle that matches FA. 
And looks like I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna take my center, move it down to F prime. And draw that same circle. You notice I kept my pencil in there so I didn't have to keep track of how many I counted there. Let's remove that compass for a second and mark this point. Uh, that was from F to A, so it's gonna be F prime to, I'm just gonna call it A prime. Okay. And now I'm gonna put RT right here right next to FA. So this point is also going to be R prime. So let's move the center of our compass down to R and find that circle. Looks like this one right here, our fourth dot. Looks like that's going to work out nice. Move my compass not down to F prime. We're on R, so I'm going to move it down to R prime. And draw that same circle down there. And that was RT, so this is going to be R prime, T prime. And this is a bunch of excess that I don't need here. So I'm going to kind of clean that up a little bit. And then now for the notation. And because we are talking about sums, we will be adding two line segments. So if I can make sure you guys see this. It was FA, line segment FA, don't forget the line segment symbols. RT. And that is going to be congruent to uh, F prime, T prime. Don't forget the line segment. And that's how you guys are going to complete 5, 6, 7, and 8. Good luck.